Hi guys, it's Jenny from Introbirth. Today I want to talk about my very favorite tool that I use as a home birth midwife. Yes, it's around my neck. This is a fetoscope. And a fetoscope is a specialized stethoscope that is used to hear fetal heart tones during pregnancy, labor, and delivery. Um, this is how it works. The bell gets pressed against the mother's abdomen over the baby's back and the practitioner either holds the other end with their hand, although this is actually a forehead plate. Um, and the benefit of using the forehead plate is that sometimes you can feel the vibration of the baby's heartbeat uh, through this plate. The sound travels through the tube and the practitioner who has the earbuds in their ear can hear the baby's heartbeat. Now midwives all around the world use these and even doctors used to use these before technology and Dopplers became the new norm. And one of the reasons why I really love to use this in my practice is that the fetoscope does not deliver any ultrasound to the fetus. And I think it's really important to avoid any unnecessary ultrasound to babies during pregnancy, if at all possible. The other reason why I really love this fetoscope is that home birth midwives really rely on their hands to palpate the position of the baby in utero. And that's really important towards the end of pregnancy. So once we palpate the baby and we know that the baby is head down or we know what side the baby is laying on through our hands, we can use the fetoscope since, since it has to be right over the baby's back um, to verify what our hands were feeling. Now, there are only a couple of downfalls to the fetoscope, and they aren't huge, but they are drawbacks. Um, one is that you have to be about 18 to 22 weeks in order to be able to hear your baby's heartbeat, which can be really hard uh, during pregnancy to wait that long, especially when people are so used to getting heart tones very early in pregnancy. Um, so that can be a downfall, and in those cases, Parents could opt to have their practitioner use a Doppler to get early heart tones around 10 to 12 weeks and then transition over to the fetoscope once the baby is big enough. And if you're having a home birth, there's a good chance that your home birth midwife is using this anyways as a routine as soon as the baby's big enough. The other downfall is that um, during labor and delivery, it can be very challenging to get heart tones with the fetoscope, especially if you're having a water birth. It would really entail the mom to get in and out of the tub quite often, um, whereas many families just opt to use a waterproof Doppler for labor and delivery, so they have less disturbances um, over the fetoscope. So that's my video for today. I hope you guys liked it, and have a fantastic afternoon.